Hi right, guys, so here is a lesson today with a new client of mine called Mark Bradshaw. This is the biggest lesson change I've ever seen, ever, in one lesson. I just wanted to share it with you guys on YouTube because it's unbelievable. So we've got on screen here at the moment, Mark at the start of his lesson. Now to say this is the biggest swing change ever, you're going to see a massive difference at the end, so please do stay tuned. Um, Mark came in with complaints of hitting it very, very low and very left and really struggled to get any air, any height and to really struggle with long clubs, really did struggle with long clubs. So this is a nine iron. Now, Mark would hit his nine iron incredibly low, and I'm going to show you some features in a minute of this swing, very low and along the floor. Then we need to look at why that happened, and the first thing that stood out to me was Mark's grip. His right, his, well, his, his, both of his hands are in the strongest grip position I've ever seen, ever. And I'm, I'm, I mean, the hands are so far around the back of the club. Now, this would make the club face, without question, aim to the left and would completely deal off the face, completely. And <clears throat> this was why Mark was hitting it so far low and left. But he would then make so many compensations in his swing to help him hit the ball somewhere near straight. Let me show you this, by the way, on the right side of the minute. Look at the club face here at the top of the swing. It is in the closed, most closed position I've, I've seen any club. The toe of the club is vertical up to the sky. That's really closed. That would mean that he'd have to make so many compensations to hit the ball anywhere near straight. So, <clears throat> we got to work. We really did get to work. We're only in for an hour today. And we got to work on some real key fundamentals in his swing. Certainly, we tried to battle the grip. So what we did first, we noticed a few areas in his grip. Certainly, this, this arm extension through the ball. So you look at the, uh, the right-hand image there, the uh, left-hand screen here, that his arms coming through the shot would completely separate out because they had to. If they didn't separate out, he would hit, literally hit the ball past his left foot. So what we, what we did first is we didn't change his grip straight away. I got him to do some practice swings where he would be swinging the club to the left and he would be extending his arms. So you can see on the floor here there's a stick just down this left side. I was getting him to swing down that line and also extend his right arm over his left. It's such a big difference, that movement. Now, if he did this correctly, you can see there just the impact. His club face was actually almost turned upside down. The toe of the club would have hit the ball. So what I did, we did a few, few swings of that first. We took, took our time and did a lot of practice swings without hitting a single golf shot doing that. We then changed the grip. So once we changed the grip, we had a few off iffy shots. We, we didn't hit the ball great at first, but we saw a huge improvement straight away. First off, the club face was an awful lot straighter at the top of the golf swing. It was still a bit closed, which we would imagine, but it's an awful lot straighter. And I was encouraging Mark to hit downwards and towards the left. Hit down and towards the left to change his path. Because his path at the start of today's lesson, just to remind you, this is him at the start of today's lesson, was severely to the right. Because it had to be. It had to be to the right to stop him hitting it anywhere close to being left. So I got him to encourage him hitting it down and towards the left. Now, sometimes that, that works really nicely. But at least we got airborne. At least we got the ball up in the air. And the last shot. This is the last shot of the day. This is just unbelievable, the difference. So you can see now the new improved grip. It is still a bit strong in that left hand, but I'm going to let Mark off in this first lesson. <laughs> it's still a little bit strong in that, in that left hand position there, but we're only talking a tiny bit. You can see here in his setup how his arms hang naturally better, how he's actually got some wrist angle. And at the very top of his golf swing, his club face is now straight, or at least straighter. So this is the point now. I'd said to Mark, hit it downwards and towards the left. I want you to hit down and towards the left because it was so different to what he was doing. Look at this shot. I absolutely love this. So it's high, it's straight, and it's long. This is the shot that actually Mark hit. This was the action replay. So it's high, it's straight, and it was long. This is a 9-iron carrying at 155 yards. Now bearing in mind, Mark at the start of today's lesson was hitting this along the floor <clears throat> and this, this was this was a good one along the floor and to the left now to be hitting that golf ball high and straight got to the top hit down and left but that just shows the importance of lessons it really does I mean that is that is the biggest this is the end of the year that's the biggest swing change I've seen all year
without question. The Mark, you did great today, well done. Um, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you think about that swing change, because it is absolutely enormous. Um, and we're going to see Mark again for another lesson very soon. I've actually told him not to practice between now and next lesson, just because he doesn't then fall back into bad habits. I'm going to see Mark for his next lesson. I can't wait to see him continue that grip improvement. And from hitting it five, six yards um, uh, straight left off the face and along the floor to hitting 155 yards, carry with a 9-iron dead straight was huge. Well done, say Mark. Guys, if you enjoyed it, do subscribe. Click the link down below. Comment. Let us know what you think about our swing change. And we'll see you next time. Mark, awesome. Best swing change of the year. Yes.